I know you expect me to say it gets better, um, but if I'm going to be authentic, I can't, I can't say that. I don't know where you are in your life right now. I don't know what experiences, what pain you've gone through. And I don't know for sure if it'll get better, but people that I know that love me have told me that, and I'm trying to believe them. Hi, I'm Adam. I am gay and I am Mormon and I'm a student at BYU studying music and theater. My name is Heather Waddington and I'm a senior at BYU and I'm a lesbian. My name is Derek. I'm 24, a BYU student majoring in international relations and I'm gay. My name is Jenna Hawkins. I am a BYU student and I'm Mormon and I'm a lesbian. My name is Kiefer. I go to BYU and I'm gay. I'm Mark. I'm a gay BYU student. I am a Mormon. And I'm a lesbian. And I'm also gay. And I'm bisexual. And I'm a statistics major at BYU. My name is Andrew Brown. I'm a gay Mormon. And I attend Brigham Young University. And I know what it's like to feel like you're alone. When I was a little kid, I was that kid that would make you smile because he was so darn gay. <laughs> uh, I first noticed that I was different when I was in fifth grade when all the other guys would obsess about girls and I just did not care. I would be shamelessly flirting with boys. I was just obsessed with all these things that boys shouldn't be obsessed with. I knew that I was different from the time I was little. I can look back and see when I fell in love with my best friend at the age of nine. Well, I probably first started experiencing homosexual feelings at around 14 years old. And it just got even more and more distinct as time went on, especially when I was 12 and I realized I had a sexual attraction to guys. It wasn't until I started dating that I really started to realize that I was not that into guys. And I felt like, oh, most girls like kissing their boyfriends and don't die a little on the inside every time they have to kiss them. And then I realized, wait, I might be gay. I remember going up to a mirror in um, my bathroom and looking myself right in the eye and saying, Adam, uh, I think you're gay. And it scared me. It absolutely terrified me, naturally, because I truly believed in this church um, and these feelings did not coincide with that church. I got super depressed. I was just really, really confused. I felt really alone. I didn't tell anyone. Because I just felt I'm not worthy. God clearly doesn't love me because he does not love gay people. I know what it's like to look at other girls and think I shouldn't be feeling this way. I know what it's like to be afraid. I know what it's like to feel like there's no one you can turn to. I know what it's like to be crying alone in your room because you're too scared to tell your parents. I know what it's like when your father condemns you. I know what it's like when people won't talk to you or tell you not to come around. To call you weird, to call you immoral, to call you a whore, to call you soulless. I thought that eventually, maybe, maybe it'd be better if I died. I just felt that I needed to just kill myself because the heartbreak of me dying would be less than the heartbreak my parents would experience if I came out to them. It wasn't too long ago that I was in a hospital in the psychiatric ward, silent, not willing to talk to anyone, believing that no one could love me. So I did everything I could to really be that perfect Mormon. Um, I thought that was going to cure myself. I tried to do as much band, choir, drama, bishop's first assistant, service projects, mutual, seminary. I tried to get into all these things so I wouldn't have to think about my sexuality. And I would ask like God if I read my scriptures every day and I pray every day and I do everything I can, will you please take this away from me? And it never went away. Nonetheless, I still did everything that the church taught me because I figured that if I would stay righteous and follow everything the church did, that I would change because God didn't make me this way. And I thought that I could still fix it. So I did what every freshman here at BYU does. I decided to go on a mission. I even dated my best friend who's a guy. And I was like, this is the answer because this is 
gonna get me straight because he's my best friend. He knows me better than anyone and I love him. And it didn't really resolve the problem that I had wanted it to resolve. I still felt gay. And it was after I dated him and it didn't work out. There was just nothing there when everything was perfect that I, I had to really accept it for myself. I didn't want to tell anyone else, but for myself, I, I knew that I was gay and that wasn't going to change. And I prayed to my Heavenly Father about it. You know, I, I told him, guess what? I, um, I found out this thing about myself. Is that okay? I, I never asked that, that way before. I had always fasted and said, take this away, I don't want it. And the feeling I had, the spirit, the confirmation was so powerful for me. It was amazing the kind of peace I felt after I prayed because there are very few times where I felt so distinctly that someone somewhere loved me for who I was. And it didn't matter that I liked boys instead of liking girls. I felt so much peace inside knowing that that God, he loved me. Um, for who I was, it was okay that I was gay. I never thought that I could actually feel such peace by accepting myself as the way I am. And I realized at that moment that there must be others just like me that are struggling as well. And then one day I just went online and I went to message boards and blogs and on Twitter and just trying to find all of my resources out there. And I was really surprised to realize that I wasn't alone. And I just found a lot of people that were supportive and willing to listen. And that eventually brought me to USGA at BYU where my community was strengthened even more. They also are struggling with the same issues of feeling rejected at church and by their peers and their family. I found peace when I started helping other people. I decided to come out to some of my friends and they've been supportive, even here at BYU. I don't go to school with a bunch of hateful people, which is what I, I thought before. I thought I was surrounded by homophobic people that would hate me if they knew. A couple years ago, my sister told me she would never let a gay man watch her children because she said they were deviant and more likely to molest them. Today, she's my strongest advocate and I know she loves me, and she tells me it gets better, and I hope it does. It gets better, even on this campus. You might not know how to reconcile your Mormonism and your sexuality, but I want to tell you that there is a space for you. We know that there's a lot of other kids here at BYU who've been pretty sheltered, but not all of us are like that. We're here for you. If you need something, send us a message. There's plenty here that care. I'm a straight ally. I am helping to make it better. And there are people who love you. And I love you. And it does get better. And it does get better. It really does get better. It gets better. It gets better. And I, I do really promise that it does get better. It does get better. Because there are people out there that will be a safe place for you. And I'm one of them. And. There are many more people that do love you and will love you. There are people rooting for you. There are people who love you. We might not know you personally, but we are cheering for you the whole entire way. And we hope that you'll really take this message to heart. And I want you to know that it really does get better.